There he is, David Tennant. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. Well, that completes Christopher Eccleston's run of the Doctor and introduces David Tennant as the Doctor, which, uh, check this out. A couple years ago, I actually got to meet David Tennant in person. He signed my inspiration poster, and he was just terrifically nice just very kind and generous and uh, everything you would hope that he would be he just seemed like a genuinely decent guy or a very good actor probably both but hopefully both which reminds me I forgot to show you when Captain Jack first appeared I do actually have John Barrowman's autograph on my poster as well I met him uh, at the same conference actually and he was, uh, well, he was John Barrowman. What can you say about him? Uh, shyness is not an issue that plagues him. I do need to have words with him the next time he comes through town. But anyway, getting to this story. This is, of course, the regeneration story of Ninth Doctor into the Tenth Doctor. It pays off the entire Bad Wolf storyline and... Everything in this season led to this story, and I really give Russell T. Davies a lot of credit for managing to craft a season of distinct stories that still had breadcrumbs that all led to this climax, so that any of the stories could be watched individually and enjoyed on their own merits, aside from the farting aliens of Rexacoracophallopatorius. But they also collectively can be viewed as a single season-long story arc that builds to this moment, and that is a masterful bit of writing. I am duly impressed. Throughout this season, by the way, the character of the Doctor was credited in the closing credits as Doctor Who. So throughout this season, the closing credits listed Christopher Eccleston in the role of Doctor Who. And at the end of this episode, Eccleston gets credited as Doctor Who, and then at the end of the scroll is, and introducing David Tennant as Doctor Who. This is the one and only time that David Tennant gets credited as Doctor Who. At his request, beginning with the next season, the character is properly credited as the Doctor. Now, if you think back on the classic series, Originally, the character was credited as Doctor Who, and then at a certain point, it changed over to being credited as the Doctor. I, I should know exactly when. I forget off the top of my head. It might have been the fifth Doctor era. In any case, it was very important to David Tennant, who was a lifelong fan of the show, that the credit be the Doctor. And so his wishes were honored, and it's really been from that point going forward, even after he left the show, that standard has remained right up through 2020 and beyond. We'll see with the new 2021 series coming up this fall, but I don't expect that to change. It's also worth noting that the regeneration at the end of this story becomes the template for all future regenerations. The visual style of it is what gets used for the remainder of the modern series, at least so far. It's a complete departure from the classic series where the regenerations almost universally happened while the Doctor was collapsed on the ground. I mean, we didn't get to see the transition from two to three, but all of the others in the classic era were the Doctor on the ground. This is the first time the regeneration is done with the Doctor standing up and with the torrent of energy pouring out of the head and arms while the Doctor transforms into his new form. It's a great visual style and again major points to Russell T. Davies for creating this signature on the modern series. That's everything I wanted to say about this story. Um, I do want to mention that at the point I'm recording this, I still haven't edited my video that I made several days ago for the previous story. And even this story, I started to watch it yesterday. It got interrupted 10 minutes in because of some family stuff with my son, which it doesn't matter. He's fine. And I really had to work up the energy to come out and do this today. 
and uh, I'm going to have two videos to edit tonight, presumably, if I can power my way through it. I'm going to be honest, I'm having a bit of a crisis of faith in this ridiculous process. I have, at this point, created and edited just shy of 400 YouTube videos, and it's going to take me another six months to finish this project if I keep at it. I'm still thoroughly enjoying walking on the treadmill and watching the stories. It's the daily creation of videos that frankly nobody cares about that is beginning to really wear on me and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to continue to power through it and, uh, and force myself to finish this project or if I will take it as good. If I do, this is a really, really good point to sort of put it at least on hold for a little bit. So we'll see. Um, maybe I'll see you tomorrow for the Christmas invasion, or maybe I'll see you in a couple weeks with the Christmas invasion, or maybe I will never see you again. I don't know. Come back tomorrow and find out.